Welcome back to another trade alts tutorial. This is going to be a quick trading view part two. Um, basically just giving you a quick tip on something that I think is going to save you a lot of time. So typically when you're here charting from blank chart, um, you're going to be going here um, over to the left side over here and picking all of your, you know, your whether it be your Fibonacci retracements or the horizontal raise, that type of stuff. And it just kind of, you know, it's, it's kind of a lot of steps to come over here, pick which one you want to, you know, pick which tool you want to use and whatnot. So I'm going to show you very quickly how to um, create a um, basically a little toolbar up here that's going to pick all of your favorite or that's going to have all of your favorite um, drawing tools to use. So very simply, you're going to come over here to the left side of your screen on TradingView and just select which tools that you use the most frequently. So for example, I'm sure a lot of people use trend lines, right? So all you're going to do is come over here to and hit this star and you're going to add it to favorites. And you can see right here that there is a toolbar that starts building. So let's say you use trend lines and maybe you might want to use horizontal raise, which I actually use quite a bit. You click the star here and it comes up on this toolbar over here. And then parallel channels, right? It's another tool that I like to use, anchored VWAP. And you can see how you can build your toolbar. So again, you don't have to keep coming in here every time you want to switch something and click the drop down menu to find it, right? It's going to be right here, ready for you to use. And then same thing here, if you like Fibonacci retracements, maybe extensions, you get the point. Like you can basically come over here and highlight everything that you like to use. And it makes it very simple. So this is, you're able to relocate this anywhere on the chart. I like it to be right about here, kind of where this empty space is, but it just keeps it a lot more accessible. Um, as I was literally doing this, like I was literally coming in here and again, you know, having to sort through all the tools to find the ones that I use. So I just found this, uh, I thought it'd be really interesting to share and hopefully it helps save you some time. And then if you want to get rid of this, all you do is come down to the bottom of your screen here and click it and then it goes away. Same thing. If you want to bring it back up, click the star, it's going to show your drawing tools and it's right back where you left it. So anyway, hopefully that helps you. We'll see you on the next video. Trade safe out there.